My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 61 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at two questions under geometry and trigonometry or under either of them because I don't know what the second question is going to be. I arrange questions randomly, the questions you would need, and I solve them in order. Now, this question is where your knowledge of angles come to play. If you don't have any knowledge about angles, then come with an open mind. As we solve this, we solve another, we solve another, we solve 30 questions, 40, you will get used to all these rules. At first, it will not make sense, but with time, you will always know what to do when you see questions like this. So just relax, watch this, watch the net, watch everything, then start over. It will make a lot of sense to you. That is my advice for you. Don't compute anything, don't see anything is simple, and don't skip the series. You are given something like this. They say that three straight lines. Is it actually three straight lines? Yes. This should be one straight line, another straight line, and another straight line. And the straight lines are EF. EF is one straight line. GH, this is another straight line. LK, LK is another straight line. They intersect at point O. This is the origin O. As shown above. If angle K, O, F. Here is K. This is K. This is O, that is the origin, and this is F, is 52 degrees. They are basically interpreting the diagram for us. That is already shown here. And angle LOH is 85 degrees. This is L, this is OH. We are given three letters, something like this. LOH. The angle is usually at the one in, at the window. The angle will be at O. If I said G O E, the angle is the angle at this O. So the letter at the middle is where the angle is positioned. So L O H is 85 degrees. Calculate the size of angle E O G. E O G. This is what you are looking for. Let's say, let's call it S degrees. E O G. I think this is a very easy question. Yes, it is a very, very, very easy question. Why did I say so? If angle E O G is equal to S, you will see the three lines they intersect. This angle and this angle, they are vertically opposite. This angle and this angle, they are vertically opposite. This angle and this angle, they are vertically opposite. What is vertically opposite? Once you see two lines intersect, the angle here and this one, they are vertically opposite and they are always equal. So, what do we do? If here is S, and here and here are the same, here and here are the same, here and here are the same, we can get S using 101 methods. Yes. So method one, here and here are vertically opposite. Here is also 55 degrees. And everything here makes up a straight line. And we know that the sum of angles in a straight line is 180 degrees. So S degrees that you are looking for plus 85 degrees plus 
52 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. S degrees is therefore 180 degrees minus 85 degrees minus 52 degrees. That should give us 43 degrees. So 43 degrees is the correct option. And if you choose another method, S degrees and here, let's call here Y, they are vertically opposite. If this and this are vertically opposite, it means this is equal to this. And what is Y? Y is 180 degrees minus 52 degrees minus 85 degrees. So Y is also 43 degrees. And S degrees would also be 43 degrees. That is vertically opposite angles. So this is an interesting question. Let's see the next. PQROSTW is a regular hexagon. Obviously, from the size PQROSTW, we know that we are dealing with hexagon. Hexagon is a six-sided shape. And since this hexagon is regular, it means all the sides and all the angles are the same. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a six-sided shape, hexagon. And they say they are P, Q, R, O, S, T, W. P, Q. Let's have numbering from anywhere we like. Let's say P, Q, R, O, S, T, and W. Q, S intersects R, O, T at V. Where is Q? This is Q. This is S. So Q, S, they join. And we also say that R, O, T also join. So in the process of joining, they intersect at this point. And they call this point V. What is the question? Find angle T, V, S. This is T, this is V, and this is S. Okay, we are basically looking for this angle. Let's call it theta degrees, or let's say theta. Ladies and gentlemen. Your analysis is very important here. We are told that this is a regular hexagon. All the sides are the same. If all the sides are the same, it means here is here, here is the same as here, and here is the same as here. Let's observe this, each of these triangles. If you look at this triangle carefully, here, like this, you will see that two sides are equal. Any triangle where two sides are equal, two of the angles will also be equal. So, this angle will be the same thing as this angle. Let's call this angle A degrees. This angle will also be A degrees. Now, for this other one as well, this side and this side are equal. So, two of the angles will also be equal. So, let's call this angle B degrees. Here will also be B degrees. Looking at this regular hexagon, this is one angle, another one, another one, another one, another one. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six angles. So, what will be each of these interior angles? Because knowing each interior angles of this polygon will at least make life easier for us. What is the formula for each interior angle? Each interior is equals n minus 2 times 180 over n. This is the formula 
for calculating each interior angle of a polygon regular. N is 6. Of course, number of side 6 has argon. 6 minus 2 times 180 over 6. This is 4 times 180 over 6. This is 2 over 3 times 180. This should give you 120 degrees. That is 2 times 180 is divided by 3, 120 degrees. That answer shows that here is 120 degrees, here is 120 degrees, here, like here, everything here is 120 degrees. If everything here is 120 degrees, this particular angle B will be 120 degrees minus, this is everything here, everything here is 120 degrees, everything here from here to here. Also, everything here from here to here is 120 degrees. I think this has made life easy for us. If this is a triangle, and we know that this side and this side are, this are the same, and we know that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. To complete this triangle, we just need uh, 60 degrees to complete this triangle. We already have 120 degrees. These other two guys will account for the remaining 60 degrees. And since they are equal, they will share the remaining 60 degrees equally. Making here to be 30 degrees and making here to be 30 degrees. As such, 30 degrees plus 30 degrees plus 120 degrees, everything will be 360 degrees. Now let us observe the diagram again. We know that everything here is 120 degrees, which is each of the interior angles. 120 degrees, very, very short. And we also know that here is 30 degrees. So here, this part will definitely be 120 degrees minus 30 degrees. Here is 90 degrees. Only here is 90 degrees. Only here is 30 degrees. Also, from two sides are equal, if this side and this side are equal, it means this angle and this angle are equal. And we already have everything here to be 120 degrees. It means here will be 30 degrees and here will be 30 degrees. That is 30 plus 30 plus 120, 180 degrees. From here, food is ready because to get this angle theta, it will be this small b here, 30 degrees plus here, yeah, this angle 90 degrees plus this angle theta. Everything makes up a triangle. And the sum of the angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. As such, theta will be 180 degrees minus 30 degrees plus 90 degrees. That should be 120 degrees minus 120 degrees. So theta is 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Wait, that should be 60 degrees. 60 degrees. So 60 degrees is the correct option. One, I am taking much time because I have to I have to explain every step for you. Two, it may actually seem long, but it's just concept. I explain every step to you. If you don't understand any of the step, it means you are not open-minded. You've already closed your mind. And if you close your mind, I don't think there is anything anybody can do for you. But once your mind is open, you will understand things. I explain all the steps for you. Your own is not to think of everything at once. This is long. No. Start from somewhere. Look at each of the steps, each of the explanation. Then you understand it. But we still have so many videos to go under Geometry and trigonometry. Before we go to episode number 92, a lot of things should make more sense to you and they should be clearer to you. See you in the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about the Flash Tennis YouTube. 
and feel free to install the Platinum Jam application. It will help you to pass Jam. See ya.